I am Bobby Fitzsimmons, or Dr. Barbara, and I'm a lifelong educator of primarily young children and an advocate of people around the world. I've lived around the world and have looked for ways to support those who are less fortunate than I. What is it about working with uh, cloth, fabric, and art that appeals to you? It's the whole creative process. It's a, a way for women to have their voices heard often when they are not heard. You're going to be working with women who lost fathers, husbands, sons, brothers uh, to the disappearances, to torture, to arrest. Um, how do you expect to find them? I think for most of them it's been a while now since this loss and the sharpness of the pain must go away after a time but I think it's always there in your mind and in your heart and unexpected things will bring it back to you the sight of a flower you like together or the song of a bird just it's it's there it's everywhere and when it does you just have to stop and appreciate it you've had your own loss two losses to my my father passed away I was taking care of him and then more recently my husband passed away from Alzheimer's and while I can't say that I've recovered from that because I don't think that I ever will I do think that you have to keep moving forward and I know I really know that he would be proud of what I'm doing oh my god do I miss him no. I miss him every single day. I'm glad to be here. I think it's exciting. That's a good word for it. Exciting. First impression is chaotic. <laughs> kind of. I was going to say controlled chaos, but I don't think it's controlled. It's just chaos. <laughs> Here we are up in my rooftop in Kathmandu. I'm getting ready for the training in Bardia now, so I've begun designing some diagrams which will help the quilters. Very pictorial, so even when I'm not here, they can still follow the guidelines. I'm getting excited about, about getting this training started and looking forward to meeting Sarita later today. It's, it's, <laughs> yes. And you submit him like you, or Dimile or three of us over. You're going to love it. You're just going to love it. Thank you, Bobby. You're welcome. Boy, it's a good thing. 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 I'm very, very glad to see all these instruments and these things. I'm so happy, she said. Thank you so much. We're going to have a good, good time. तो हम लोग इसको ऐड को लाएगे, बनाने को लाएगे, तो बोर्डर को लाएगे, आने को करते हैं, यहाँ छाने रहते हैं। कि को करा बोल भी ले दवाई ले राउंड मारते हैं, आपने देख रहा हूँ। कि ना पुमी बायर तो क्वालिटी को रहते कलर को करते हैं, यहाँ यहाँ छाने रहते हैं। Bobby, are you learning anything? Indeed, I'm learning a lot about the the fabrics that are available to us here. Just they're so beautiful. It's a quilter's delight. Two meters. Yes, two and two and one. Okay. Perfect. No, no, it's different. Here we are at the bus station. Our baggage is loaded already. We're ready to start out for Bardia, a long trip. But when we get in there tomorrow, we're going to just plunge right in. We've got new fabric. We're ready to go. Are you excited? Absolutely. This is it's wonderfully chaotic. More than just chaotic. Wonderfully so. And everyone knows where they're going except me. Oh, that was a very long bus ride, as you can probably tell. But it's brought us into a whole new world. Everyone's up early, plowing fields. Porches, air is clean, 
Did you get any sleep? I got a little sleep. It wasn't too bad. Um, interesting aromas throughout the night. What about the guy who was sleeping on the floor? Fortunately, I didn't have to get up and step on him. Welcome, ladies. I'm so glad that you could join us. This is our plan for today. We are taking the blocks that you have made. We're going to put them in this quilt. But we need, we need to make all of these pieces to make it work. And so I brought all of this fabric for you to start making into these pieces. This is a social event. It is telling maybe Sarita that in the U.S. we call these quilting bees. And pioneer women who lived isolated lives would come together once in a while and they'd bring all of their quilting things and they'd work on each other's quilts and they would talk all day long. And then they'd have a wonderful big dinner and everyone would go away happy. This is, this is international. When women get together, they work well and they play well. We have our first completed six patch block by Kusma, and she's going to hang up on the wall. So we begin to see how our quilt's coming together. It's going to be so beautiful. Uh, every one of them were asking about the Bobby's age, how old she is. And I told them, uh, I asked Bobby and told them she is 70. And they were surprised. And they were like, they were saying, how could a lady of 71 years could come all the, all the way from America and could teach people like us? What does a 71 year old think of that then? Well, she's not quite convinced that she is, to tell you the truth. You just, you just keep doing as long as you can. This is such a pleasure. It's not a hardship at all to be here with them, to see them working. So 71, 17, doesn't matter, right? Yeah. yeah. बाले सी को पानी सारी आशु को तमूला छाई ना बाले सी को पानी सारी बिहाल भायो जिंदगी ओ चंद्रमुखी मुहर तिम्र बामरा जुलने के साथ चंद्रमुखी मुहर तिम्र बामरा जुलने के साथ लाचा आवानेर so now we come to the point where we're looking at each of these blocks. These blocks tell the story of these women, of their loss, and we want to treat each one with honor and respect and reverentially and put them into the quilt and make this a true living memorial to the people they've lost. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sarit is about to begin the quilting process and we've decided on a very simple design to keep it going. This is probably the most tedious part simply because you have so much fabric to work with. Nanu <laughs> You saw it later. You are here, you want to put it in the land for the same way. Mukhle on the head, you want to tie you in a but you chitter the head when you get only imagine. How does she remember her father? Well, it was something as I'm sorry. 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 I'm Move on to another question. I hope that we can be advocates for you to spread the word wider in this world so that other countries will come and help to put pressure on your government to give you what you want, the truth and, and justice. I've enjoyed working with these women so much in spite of a language barrier. It reaches a point where language doesn't matter because you have a, an empathy, a sharing. It's been a joy, a true joy, to work with these women. And I hope that they've enjoyed it as much as I have. So when we talked in Washington, you, you told me that you also had some moving on to do. Do you think this week has helped? I think so. When you meet a group of other people who have shared such horrific losses, it puts mine into perspective, although it's a terrible loss for me. At least I have the satisfaction of knowing how my husband passed away. I was there with him when he passed away. And while I still will always have that sadness, at least I don't have the questions and the doubts and the anxieties, um, worrying about what life must have been like right at the end there. So yes, it's, it's been helpful. It, it really has been helpful. I've felt calmer here than I have felt in the last 15 months, and that in itself was a gift. Women are so strong and all of us at one time or another have been through some unfortunate experiences but we seem to always find a way to find the strength within ourselves find the strength among ourselves and move forward